Identifying elements and compounds from particle diagrams. In the next few problems, we're going to be using particle diagrams to understand elements and compounds. Here is a key of the, th the elements and how we're going to identify elements in a particle diagram. So this blue stands for an atom of element A. This orange stands for an atom of element B. Green stands for an atom of element C. So the problem we're going to, about to do asks us to determine what this is most specifically described as. So let's take a look at our answer choices. This, a mixture, this combination of element A and element B is most specifically described as element AB2, compound AB2, or atoms AB2, or none of the above. So taking a look at this, we have an atom of A here, and an atom of B, and an atom of B. So in a particle diagram, when atoms are very close together and they seem attached together, that is a representation of how they are chemically combined. And we know when something is chemically combined, when atoms are chemically combined or atoms from different elements are chemically combined, we call it a compound. So this must be a compound of A, B, 2. And notice that they put A for one atom of A and B, 2 to describe that there are two atoms of B.